the miter saw is kind of the ugly stepson of the radial arm saw that everyone forgets to invite to the family reunion. While the table saw does a lot of the small crosscut work, the miter saw is the power lifter, the guy you bring in when your stock is eight feet long and needs to be three feet. The problem with these saws is that there can be quite a bit of tear out that comes with each cut. The band-aid solution is to spend more on blades with more teeth. A second solution is to use the same formula we use when we have tear out for both band saws and table saws, a zero clearance insert. We'll take the insert that came with the saw and attach it to a piece of scrap that's the same thickness using carpet tape with a center and drill bit. We'll add holes through the insert into the scrap. Flush cut bits are perfect for this as you only need to set the bearing height to be that of your insert and a quick run through and you're to shape. Because screws are often sunk into inserts, we'll set our table saw to thin the edges. Now we just need to insert it back in and make our cut. If you don't have a set of these really nice centering drill bits that are perfect when you need to use a template, click right here. Sub and follow for more bite-sized tips. Keep making things.